So hello everybody and happy Monday. In today's video we're going to do some meat fasting about Microsoft certification. So after you watch this video you'll know what happens either if you've taken the exam, if you're studying for the exam, or if you're planning to study for the exam, okay? So hopefully this will give you a clear path on what's going on. So let's get started. Okay, myth number one, is the Power BI certification gone? No, it's not gone. They have changed it to a role-based certification called Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. Okay, so to get the certification, you need one exam instead of two that you need before. So you need to take the DA100 exam where before you have to take the Power BI exam and the Excel exam. And if you take that one exam, you will get Microsoft 35 for the old BI reporting. They call it different now, okay? So myth number two, I bought the Power BI exam book 7778, and now it is worthless. It is not. Let me tell you why. The DA100 exam is very similar to the 7778 exam. I have Soran at LinkedIn that told me that he actually checked them and compared them and he says that the exams are almost identical. The only difference is that there are a few new topics like incremental refresh, CDS as data source, aggregation, sync sliders, AI insights and dataset endorsements, which means that you can still use the book to study for your new exam. It's just that some of the topics you'll have to research elsewhere, okay? So you're still good to go, don't worry. Use the book, you're going to love it. Myth number three, I just passed the exam and now it is worthless. What's about that? Well, as I said before, the Power BI certification is, or exam, is very, very similar to the new one. So. It is not worthless because it's basically the same exam. It's just that they have updated it. So instead of updating from the new, from the old uh, certification exam, they just added in the new format to be role-based, but it's still valid. Don't worry, you're good to go for two years, okay? Myth number four, I was studying for the exam and now everything is thrown out of the window. No, it's not. And you know where I'm going, right? If you've already started, if you have done a lot of work, take the exam, the 7778, no problem, just take it. It's going to be valid for two years and it's almost identical to the DA100. So no worries. Nobody is going to have any thoughts about that. It's almost identical. You can tell that to the recruiters if needed. So continue studying and good luck on the exam. So myth number five, the, there is no SQL certification anymore. And uh, this is kind of right, but yet yeah, not. So here's the thing, there is no SQL certification for on-prem, but there is an SQL certification for Azure. So they are pushing Azure, they're pushing the cloud. You know that, right? I don't need to talk about it. So the new certification that you want to take for Azure is the Microsoft Certified Azure Database Administrator Associate. And there are tons of other data database related certifications. Just go to the site and find them. But that is the one that came out right after they announced that the other one's going to be retired. So without saying that they are telling us, hey, this is the new one basically, okay? So if you wanna take an SQL certification, it's gotta be an Azure and it's gotta be the Azure Database Administrator Associate, okay? So you still can be certified in SQL, it's just get it in Azure, that's all. So hopefully this clarifies everything. It helps you along with your certifications and if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the list of all the certifications that were retired and why. So I'll see you again on the next video on Wednesday. Until then, subscribe, like, and bye-bye.